fifth take, the it was bizarre. The I, I, the wind was blowing hard, and the 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 clouds were. It felt like I could jump up and touch them, and that was very mystical. What was happening in the ground? You could feel something in the ground, and um, then uh, the wind was blowing, and I I couldn't. Yeah, I could see everybody. There were about 350 people that were around me on a hill, and uh, the wind was blowing, and then I couldn't hear the wind, and I could feel the suctioning occur. Um, and then um, I, it was probably more like three seconds. It felt like five, but it was probably less than that. And then, and then, boom! I shot me out of my body. I saw the back side, not here, here. Um, and uh, then I was back. Then Jan Michelini runs over, and I remember looking at him. And all of a sudden, I saw his hand blow up. Sparks came out. Um, there was another shot that came down, um, and then uh, I was, you know, I was in shock. And then so I was on a lot of medication until 2009 was my first surgery at Stanford. Um, and then uh, my second one was at a Cleveland Clinic in 2014, and that saved me, you know, saved my life. I died uh, on the operating table. It, um, I've never told that, um, but I died. Um, Dr. Gill and off Dr. Griffin were my doctors. They witnessed it. They brought me back, but I was supposed to be here. Um, but when I, the reason why I brought that up is I felt incredible peace and love that's waiting for us. When you died? A, it went, yes. It was amazing. And I didn't, you know, I had this, you know, just hang on for a second. It was really calm. And then they brought, I saw the whole thing. Didn't hurt. Uh, the moment it, it was like taking an egg, cracking it, and then it just came out and I was dead. I didn't have to breathe anymore. And I was looking at everybody running the room and they were panicking. And I saw them put the flaps on and then when I came back, that's when it hurt. <laughs> the reason why I'm talking about it right now is because so many people don't have peace. They don't have the love. When I was uh, doing the Passion and Jesus visited me a couple times, amazing. One of them was, and he was weeping, and I looked I looked over the left side of my bed and there he was. And I didn't hesitate. And I got on my bed and I put my arms around him. And I said, Lord, what's wrong? And he pointed to the ground. And on the ground were all of these cards, jacks, kings and queens. And they had all these face cards all over. Their faces were death face. That was their death mask right before they entered into hell. These people were giving incredible gifts. They started with one for me, nine for God, two for me, eight for God, nine for me, one for God, and then all for me. This is how the game works. When I asked him, I don't want them to see me. I only want them to see you. I believe he was warning me. Because there's going to be a version of you going to heaven, and then there's a version of you going to hell. I said, I will never betray you. You've done this, 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 this. Yes, those are good things, but you don't want to have a zero in your life. One times zero is zero, so is a billion times zero.